cute this is. I will do a hotel tour in a bit, but I am changed to go to my conference. I am wearing sandals because there's cobblestones everywhere. I have my heels in my bag and yeah, ready to go. Which is just amazing and I'm a little lost but I'm enjoying it hoping I can make it to my conference before lunch actually starts. Finish the first half of my conference. Yeah, cobblestone everywhere. So yeah, why I brought my sandals because heels would have gone to the dumpster. Although I'm in Bruges for a conference, I still have to attend some of my meetings virtually. Hi friends, I am back. It's been so humid trying to walk from the hotel to the conference. It's relatively close, but it's very crowded and the streets are narrow. Let's give you a quick room tour. It's the door, full length mirror, little powder room. Uh, toilet area, closet, variety of pillows, a snack, bar, safe. Walking over here, you do have the love seat, luggage rack, welcome water, and then my bed. It's very pretty, raw flooring of course. You do have an outside area the little fountain but I closed it up for privacy they are double doors a little seating area desk and then the bathroom so you have tub sink area and shower my team and I decided to leave the meeting a little early just to go back to our rooms and get some work done I do have a meeting coming up in about half an hour. That would be 5.30. I guess that's one of the cons of working while traveling abroad because your hours are completely all over the place. We're here from morning to evening and we're also doing work. Really am enjoying it though. And I'm glad I'm in my room because there's lots of AC and I can be in comfortable clothes rather than my conference attire. I really do hope the humidity lets up. We do have a dinner tonight. They gave us invitations and uh, it's at a bar, of course. I'll probably leave the hotel right after my meeting, walk around a bit. And I've been trying to take some pictures, but it is a bit difficult doing this solo. I will figure out how to get pictures of myself because of course my carry-on and checked bag did not have any extra room for my gimbal. I'm going to get some work done and just go explore the city. Did a quick outfit change. I'm going out with my colleagues just to get something to drink right before we have our meeting dinner. decided to explore the nightlife. It's actually past 10 p.m. now and it's still super bright out. So I decided to take advantage of it. empty but there's still a lot of people outside. The city is beautiful, it's charming. It is day two here in Bruges. 
I woke up, did my daily things, and I'm changed for the conference. I'm wearing sandals again because honestly, heels are out of question here. So yeah, now I'm off to breakfast with my colleagues. Just finished up the morning session of the conference and I got to the hotel to get some work done even though it's a Saturday. I just wanted to get ahead of things. Did a quick outfit change and now I am going to walk around, explore a little more of Bruges and then have dinner with my colleagues. Here is my look for tonight. Black cow neck top from Aritzia my crossbody from Marc Jacobs. It's been really handy this trip. Also from Aritzia, these khaki shorts are high-waisted, so it makes me look a little taller. And then just some leopard calf hair flats from Karl Lagerfeld. Prior to going to any place, I do a lot of research, especially on food, because there are certain things I can't eat, but one place I had to try, definitely this waffle place called Chez Albert. Got the Belgian waffle with milk chocolate, strawberries, and whipped cream. <laughs> guys so today i have a free day and my colleagues and i just decided to get better acquainted with each other we are museum hopping hopefully the rain lets up so we can go on a boat tour apparently in bruges it rains consistently throughout the summer and it's been an odd spell these past few days with all this uh, heat and humidity now we're getting a taste of the real bruges it is extremely windy it's raining a lot and it's about 60 degrees. We'll see how today turns out. <laughs> just had breakfast and I'm going to take in some of the sights early in the morning while it's still kind of drizzling. Hopefully there are less people and what do you know, there is no one. You guys, this is right in front of my hotel. It's most, one of the most scenic spots. My colleagues and I hopped on a boat as soon as the rain let up.
I'm back in my room. I spent the entire morning and first part of my afternoon with my colleagues. We went to a bunch of museums and we actually climbed the top of the Belfry Tower. It's the Bell Tower here in Bruges. We got to, it was the, the second tier before the top. There's a big bell and we didn't want to stay because it would be really loud. It was about to ring in, I'd say, seven minutes. We climbed our way up to the top. It's 300 or so odd steps to the top of the tower. Once we got there, we had a 360 view of the whole city and you could see to London on a clear day. Fortunately, it was raining and really cloudy and gloomy. As we got to the last window, the bell started to ring and it frightened us all. We thought we could have avoided it and made our way down. We were a little startled, but it was all good. We made our way back down. We went into a couple of museum basilica churches. Wow, the craftsmanship and the amount of detail that went into all these objects and the details in these paintings it's nothing you can find today it's just amazing to see them just resting up a bit and then going out to dinner with my colleagues again we are parting ways so after this i will be going to birmingham tomorrow is another travel day for me so fingers crossed that things go much more smoothly. Today is my last day at the Pand Hotel in Bruges, Belgium. It's been an incredible stay. I really enjoyed it. Can't wait to show you more about what I'm up to. This is a business and leisure trip. I'm morphing it into both. The main purpose is to attend meetings and meet some key opinion leaders in the field. Some more intelligence for the company. Absorb as much knowledge as I can. My main source of transportation for this trip will be by train. The last time I was on a train was probably in Australia. I don't believe I've ever been on a train in the US actually. My experience in Australia, so I was using a train in Sydney and it was a pretty good experience. Trains in Europe are rampant, they're everywhere, but there is a strike going on, I believe, either today or tomorrow in Brussels. So I'm hoping that doesn't impact my trip.